Welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Channel and Travel Corner. This is the YouTube channel where we keep great memories from the past alive. I'm so excited because this is Saturday, September 5th, 2020. And in just about one minute, Cousin Brucey returns to 77 WABC. Cousin Brucey has been a legend in New York City radio since, well, 1959. He had been on satellite radio, but in just minutes, seconds, he's coming back to terrestrial radio. This is so exciting. And he's coming back home to WABC where his career really took off. So I said, I'm going to drive around the neighborhood and listen to him like I did back in the day. So if you like this air check, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel too if you like. And after you do, smack that bell. And you will be notified whenever we post anything new. All right, if you're ready, here it is. September 5th, 2020. The return of Cousin Brucey on 77 WABC New York. 77 WABC WABC New York and 1071 WLIR Hampton Bays WABC Alrighty, there you go. That nice. That's Miss Dusty for you. I love her. I remember we did a television show for her with her many years ago at Battersea Park in London, outside of London. Lovely lady, Mary, Mary O'Brien. Love her very much. 77 Music Radio, WABC. This is your cousin Brucey. Hey, hi to cousin. Hey, John and Chad are listening to cousin Brucey right now, and they're saying, hey, that's all right. I wish we were at that, that, that big party. And I wish I was with you, too. Hey, Chad, thank you for everything. And John, what can I tell you? He bought WABC, and he said, Brucey, take it. And I, <laughs> I intend to. I love it very much. Can't believe how fast this is going. Let's, uh, let me go to my telephones. Hope we get to all the phone calls tonight. If not, you'll try it again next week. Let's go to Cousin uh, Andrea now. Cousin Andrea is somewhere in New York City. Cousin Andrea, hi, how are you, honey? So nice having you with us. Hello. Hello, Cousin Andrea. Uh, Andrea must have stepped out for a couple moments. That's all right. Andrea, sweetheart, I know it's Andrea Lazar. Let's play her music. I know what she wants to hear. Cuz knows what she wants to hear. Andrea, your song by Jan and Dean. City, everybody, they're going in, out in the Hamptons there. Cousin John and Margo and Chad and the whole crew having a great birthday party out in Surf City in the Hamptons. Well, you listen to Cousin Brucey, everybody, here on 77 Music Radio, WABC. I hope everybody's getting that feeling, the feeling that I've wanted to give you. I wanted that connection. And we do that with music. Music is the food of love. And we have this every Saturday night, right here, 6 to 9 o'clock. I'm your cousin, Brucey, and I'm in love with this music. See you later, alligator! Cousin Brucey! See you later, alligator! I said that! Well, I saw my baby walking with another man today. See you later, alligator! So long! That's all! I'll beat his hand! Oh, that's good, huh? The Comets cousins there, Bill Haley in the Comets. I'm Cousin BC on 77 Music Radio, WABC. All right, my friends, we have so much stuff going on. Request 800-848-WABC-9222. I'm going to try to get to everybody. I think we need another four hours, you know? I hope John didn't hear that. He'll say, deal. I'm just kidding, John. Maybe another hour someday. Well, we'll, we'll do all right. Let me go back to my phones right now in New Jersey. Cousin John is standing by. Hiya, John. Good evening to you. Hey, good evening, Cousin Bruce. How you doing? Oh, well, I hope it sounds like I'm not, I'm not walking on, on the ground. I am so turned it on. It sounds great. It sounds great. Coming over that, mon that, that magnificent monoral monster out of Lodi, it sounds great. <laughs> A monoral monster. I love that. That's going to have oh, to tell yeah. the program program the, vice the, the president. The transmitter I grew up with and the voice I grew up with. Cousin what? Bruce Morrow coming out of that 50-kilowatt monster in Lodi is great. I know. Isn't that great? But what a difference today, huh? I walked out of here. Oh, yeah. we, were, we were broadcasting on this monster. But now 
it's all over. They, they're listening. Oh, it seems what's on my phone from all over the world almost. It's it's great. Yeah. I'm just so thrilled. Well, when, when I grew, was growing up, that that uh, that facility in Lodi threw out that signal to 38 states at night, and what was it, 16 during the daytime or something like that. Oh, well, it's yeah. pretty wild. And, Where are you in New Jersey? I'm currently in Moonaki, not too far from that facility, actually. Uh huh. I know where that is. All right. Gosh, I want to talk to you so badly. I want to talk to everybody. What am I playing for you tonight? I would like to play Welcome Back by John Sebastian in yeah. honor of your return, Cousin yeah. Bruce. Oh, thank you so much. All right, give me, a, uh, give me a formal dedication, and then you'll cue the music, okay? You do it. You're on the air, Cousin, Cousin John. Cousin Bruce Morrow on this Saturday night. Welcome back to New York and 77 New York's music station, WABC. Fun. Bruce Morrow. Thank you so much. So good to be back here on Music Radio WABC 77. Well, I gave an email uh, request, uh, you know, for email request, and the address, if you want to do that, is CousinBrucey at WABCRadio.com. Right, CousinBrucey at WABCRadio.com for your requests. Well, I have a New York telephone book worth already here. So let me read a couple of them for you. From Cousin Penny uh, Byron, Wingdale, New York. Thank you for bringing radio back to life. Oh, come on. You're going to make me cry. I mean, gosh. Love that you're back in the city with the greatest station in the nation. It really is, right? And uh, that's Cousin David, Salem, Ohio. He wants you to keep wave. I'm going to keep some of these. We're not gonna, no way we're going to get this. I need another, another one. How many more hours do we need? Five? All right. <laughs> Welcome back, Cousin Brucey. Uh, it's so good to hear you again. From Mark Roman, Albuquerque. <sighs> Where do I stop this? David and Linda. Another one from Albuquerque. It's hot out Albuquerque, but you're making us feel cool. Hey, Cousin Brucey, you are what 2020 needs. Everything is better now. Oh, that's so nice. That's from uh, Diva Princess. Diva Princess. Uh, Hi, Cousin Brucey. This is from, uh, let's see, Joanne Milazzo, Greenwich Village, New York. Can't even contain my joy to hearing your voice. And it's a whole thing there. Hi, Cousin Brucey. Can you please play the twist? Chubby Checker. Yeah, I'll get to it. Give me some time. Give me another at least 15 years. Ryan Kowicik of uh, Nancook, Pennsylvania. One more. There's so many of them. From Sarah Eisner. Just wanted to let you know. I'm in my 60s and still have my transistor radio. I got it my 13th birthday. Isn't that great? Aha, uh -huh. so do I. But it doesn't belong to me. You guys sent them to me. How many transistors are there, by the way? And uh, love your show. Here in the oldies again. Great. Ah, okay. I cannot get to all of them. There are so many of them. And Dave, uh, uh, what was he just handed me just a few, like a telephone book worth. And it said, there's many more waiting for you. So I guess I have my homework. Let me go to my telephone line here. Ron of Wisconsin. Ah, I love Hello. Wisconsin. Hiya, Ron. How are you in Wisconsin? I'm doing good. I miss you, Cousin Brucey. And welcome back to WABC. Thank you so much. Well, no one's going to miss me anymore. I have it here. I have it here. I am so happy. How are we coming in in Wisconsin? How does it sound to you? You're you're coming in real good. Uh, I've been all over the road since the last time I talked to you. Oh, this is Ron, our over-the-road truck guy. Oh, oh hi, there, Ron. Yeah, Ron Lewandowski. Do I have it? Yeah. Ah, of course. See, it works once in a while. That's really good. So, Ron, <laughs> so nice talking to you. Miss talking to you, Ron. So, Ron, we'll be talking plenty in the weeks to come. What am I playing for you tonight? Anything by Sonny and Sharon. Please say hello to your wife. Oh, to, oh, Cousin Jody. Oh, Jody. Jody's here. Ron says hello to you, Jody. Hello, Ron. There's okay, Jody. Jody. Jody's. Well, it's good, it's Jody's good having you back on air, Cousin Brucey. And thank I'll be you so much. To you again, Ron. God bless you. Drive carefully here. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen. For Ron, Sunny, and Cher.
All right, I got you, babe. Hi, everybody. Cousin Brucey here on 77 Music Radio. Say it, Jody. Let me hear those call letters. 77 Music Radio. W-A-B-C. W-A-B-C. Yeah, you're going to hear that a lot around my house. Listen, what I hope that you are thinking about in your house right now is helping each other. You know, there's nothing more important today than you and I and your neighbors, you know, spending a little bit of love and affection and just sort of saying hi, say hi to the cop on the beat. Spare a little love, you know, our fire guys, our front, the people in the, the front line people, the health people, give them a thank you. Somebody's doing something like that. The organization is called My Face. And uh, Jody and I literally, physically have been involved with this organization for a long time. Jody, honey, can you uh, get near microphone 84 and tell people what is My Face about? Now, briefly, we're not going to be here until tomorrow. Okay. Morning. Uh, my face. My face helps young people uh, with uh, from birth or by accident who have cranial facial conditions. Right. And your donation would mean so much. Uh, my face helps uh, these young people increase self-esteem acquire confidence, and supports parents and siblings. Very important. Now, we've been involved with this organization. You know, when you were born with a facial difference, but you know, I'm going to tell you something. When somebody walks into the room, think about this. What's the first thing you look at besides that? I mean, what do you, what's the first thing you look at, seriously? Somebody's face, right? So if you were born with a difference, you got a problem right away. Well, very honestly, we, we are so involved with these people for so many years, and very honestly, there's no different. They have heart, they have soul, they have a desire for relationships and to be involved with life. So, more than 70 years, my face has worked with these people with craniofacial uh, disorders, uh, children and adults. Now, they're coming up with something called Races for Faces. They have to raise money. I'm asking you, whatever you can afford, a buck, two bucks, five bucks, whatever it is, I'm asking you to do this. They uh, bring families together. They support people with surgery. They have homes. They take care of people. Very important. So we'd ask you now maybe to start a team, register, or donate whatever you can afford. Help support families of my face, will you? Make a difference in somebody's life. Cousins, you're going to feel good. Your belly will feel good. You'll feel so good when you go to bed. Right? When you make a donation and you know you're helping somebody. This works. This is honest, sincere, and it's every single day they take care of people. So how do people register for Races for Faces, Jody? Uh, Racesforfaces.org slash cousin That's it. and Stop. donate today. Okay, so you got that now, right? Racesforfaces.org slash cousin. Donate today. Please help. Please help these children and these adults. We're asking you. It's something we've been involved with all our lives. And we will never stop. We want to help people. Help these people, will you? They deserve it. And it's a wonderful organization. I thank you very much. The Goya Saturday Night Rock and Roll Party with Guz and Brucey. Exclusively on 77 WABC. Yeah. Right? I love that word exclusively. Well, music radio has returned to New York, which means it's returned to the entire world. We're sharing it. It's a New York sound, but it's everybody's sound. One thing we have in common, listen carefully to Cousin Brucey, one thing we share, one thing. We don't get along with certain things politically and this and that. We don't believe in this. And, you know, we don't like the same foods. But one thing we love, music. Music is the food of love. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going up to that mountain. I don't care about cost and clowers. No. I'm going to find that girl. Jerry Lee Lewis. Clifton Clowers. I'm going to climb up on that mountain. I'm going to get that girl I love. I don't, I don't care about old Clifton Clowers. Going to find the gal I love. Hi, everybody here on 77 Music Radio WABC. 
ladies and gentlemen from, from the Hamptons out there with Chad and John and Margo and everybody to cousins in Los Angeles, California and everything in between down south, Puerto Rico, all listening to us in Mexico, wherever you're listening to Cousin Brucey, I am so happy, happy that you're here. And uh, email request, CousinBreezy at WABCRadio.com. We're going to get to as many as we can. You, you can imagine what is going on here. These phones are melting, which I love very, very much. All right, let's see. We have the best music of our lives right now. And I think you, you'll enjoy this extremely, extremely much. How about this here? Listen. Making the boys, cousins, making the boys their satisfaction. Hey, you're listening to Cousin Brucey, satisfied like I'm feeling so good here. 77 WABC and our WABC degrees. Let me take a guess. I don't know. You'll tell me if I'm... Uh, I'm going to take a guess. Let me let me see. I'm going to put my finger out the window here. 76 WABC de de degrees. That's what it's about. Let me go to my telephones again. Telephone is 800-848-WABC. Love hearing from you. Ah, oh, Cousin Paul. Let's go to Florida. Cousin Paul. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, it turned red. That's what I'd like to see. Hi, everybody. How are you doing, Paul? It's Cousin Brucey. Hi, Hi Cousin Hi, Cousin Brucey. So great to hear you back in New York. Thank and you. And I've been listening to you for years. Give me, a, give me a little weather report from where you are. Where are you in Florida? I'm, I'm in Ocala, and it is about, I'd say about 88 degrees now, and the humidity is um, probably about 65, 70%. All right, that's it not is bad. Hot. Not bad, right? That's not bad at all. Well, Paul, I'm so happy no. to have you here on this debut show. What could I play for you tonight, oh. Cousin Paul? Um, I'd like to hear Let's Twist Again by Chubby Checker. And before I go, I'd just like to say that cause of Races for Faces is so wonderful because I'm a retired firefighter and paramedic at 22 years, and I've seen what it can do. So um, God bless you and your wife for uh, Thank you so all much. you do for that Because you can imagine what people have a facial difference or any kind of difference. It's very tough on life. Thank you. That donate, uh, that uh, the address is racesforfaces.org slash cousin. Thank you for saying that. My friend, I got a present for you. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Let's push the Yeah, so good, huh? Twist again like we did last summer. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Oh, incidentally, Cousin Dave, our boss, just said to me, Bruce, you remind everybody, in case they missed one of these golden moments that we had during these hours, you can hear this show repeated. It's going to be uh, repeated by everybody's demand, right? On Sunday, right here on 77 WABC at 12 noon. 12 noon, 12 to 3 on Monday, Labor Day. 12 noon, Labor Day. Okay. I always think Labor Day is Sunday, but it's Monday. So Monday, Labor Day, 12 noon to 3 o'clock, okay? In case you missed any of this, uh, these golden moments. And then, of course, next Saturday, 6 o'clock sharp. And a little later on, uh, my, friend, uh, my friend Walter Sterling. Sterling on Sunday, he's going to be coming. He's alive uh, next door. i got to find out what he's going to talk about. He's an old friend of mine. Very good old friend. You give him a listen, will you? You're like, we got some good stuff here. Some wonderful people. I'm listening to Cousin Brucey playing the best music of our lives. Let's uh, see what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to talk about Mikey, right? Cousin Mikey. Cavino and company. Cavino and company. They're going to be with us. I have a feeling they're going to do some good business with us. They've been in business now for 40 years. They, these guys here, Mike and his boys, help small businesses in our tri-state area. And they go all over the nation, too, right? With all their business and financing needs. So you have any kind of problems, he'll help you out. And by the way, you got free consultations. Good. Cousin Mikey has been a listener of Cousin Brucey's show for quite a while. He says 50 years. Is that possible? I guess so. He grew up in the Bronx. Hey, Mike. And he uh, now wants to help cousins in the greater metropolitan area and nationally. Now, if you are a small business guy or gal and you've been... 
uh, impacted, I won't use another word, by the recent shutdown and you need for money for your business or help with your existing uh, lenders, Cousin Mikey uh, can help you. Or maybe you're one of these guys you're, or gals that you're lucky that your business is growing. Something happened, right? You just happened to be in the right business, right time, as a result of this pandemic mess that we're in. And you need some capital to finance that growth. Call Cousin Mikey, all right? 800-762-CASH. That's 800-762-2274. Or you can go to Covino.com. Let me spell it for you. C-O-V is in victory. I-N is in now. O. Covino.com. Call Cousin Mikey. Tell him I talked to you about it, would you? 800-762-CASH. If you need some, any kind of, any kind of business finance needs, he will help you. And if he can't help you, he'll put you in touch with the right people. Good guy, right? 800-762-2274. I'm Cousin Brucey. The Goya Saturday Night Rock and Roll Party with Cousin Brucey. Exclusively on 77 WABC. WABC. Oh, I love it. Ready? Chime time. We have <laughs> chime time 15 minutes before 9 o'clock. Wait a minute. Can I just say a quarter to nine? Can I ask you a question? What the... Heck happened to this show? We we just went on. Guys, right, Colton, Dave, Matt, we just went on. What happened? What'd you do to me? You feed up the clock? All right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Listen, on Monday, Monday Labor Day, at uh, at twelve noon, we're gonna do this again. It it's gonna be repeated in case you missed any of these things. Let me go phones. I better get some of these phones on. I don't want you getting too angry at me. Mayor Fred, is that where we're going? No, we're going to Steve. Let's go to cousin Steve. Steve is in New York. Uh, I like when it turns red. Oh, I love that. Hi, Steve in New York. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm coming from Port Travis, New York. Number me. Oh, eight. of course I remember you, Steve. What 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 is your last name, Steve? Uh, Fatello. Fatello. Gosh, Steve, you've been listening to me for a long time. How's everything yes, important? I, I used to live in WABC AM in the 60s. One of them in Brooklyn, when you spread Brooklyn. Oh, there you go. Well, you're still with us, and we're still living. I'm still with you. Steve Patillo, what can I play for you tonight? Uh, God bless you, because I'm, uh, I want to hear the Beatles twist and shout. All right. Who are you dedicating it to, Steve? I just want to say hello to Jody, your wife. What do you mean you want to say hello to my wife? All right. Now, I mean, I know you Jody. just. All right. Jody, you want to get on the microphone? Steve wants to say hello to you. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Hi, Jody. And thank you for taking care of Cousin Brucey. <laughs> That's nice. Steve, thank you so much. Uh, Jody, Jody's become very, very popular. In fact, we're thinking of giving her uh, her own show, too. We're going to talk to Dave. <laughs> and she wants a raise from me. Steve, here you go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Shaking the baby, twist and shout. Hi, everybody. Shaking it up there all over the nation. Hey, speaking of shaking it up, they're shaking up all kinds of good stuff at that birthday party for Cousin John. Hey, John and Margo, everybody at the party, thank you so much. John, especially you and Margo, for taking good, such good care of Cousin Brucey. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, John. Chad is out there and the team, and uh, I miss you guys. We all wish you were up here having a big party, especially if you bring all the food and the drink. We, we miss you very, very much. And happy birthday, John, and looking forward to seeing you. Uh, cousin Barbara and Charlie out in Monroe Township, New Jersey. Right? They're married for a while, and uh, they're very much in love. And Charlie wants to send us out. There's this lady, and they... They were celebrating a great anniversary very soon. And Charlie, we love you and we're thinking about you all the time. Thank you. Charlie to Barbara. Now, by the way, is one of the sweetest guys in the business, Jimmy Clanton, everybody. Venus and blue jeans. Charlie and Barbara, hope you love that very much. I'm Cousin Busey, wishing you a very happy Labor Day weekend. I'm on So Happy 77 WABC. I'm on Music Radio. Go, go, Cousin Busey. Go, go, Cousin Busey. With WABC. 
the Goya Saturday Night Rock and Roll Party with Guz and Brucey, exclusively on 77 WABC. WABC strikes gold. Oh, strike gold is right. So, I cannot believe this. I'm looking at this digital thing here with numbers on it, and it's telling me, Brucey, we're going to say goodnight. But listen to this. The uh, very wise grandfathers and fathers of this station, WABC, said, Brucey, how about doing this again on Monday? So we're going to repeat this show on Monday. Then, of course, we have next Saturday, brand new, fresh show. I hope everybody's enjoying what we, we've done today. And uh, we're going to, this is just the beginning, cousins. You know, we're just getting used to this chair here and all this equipment. And uh, I think it's been real wonderful. Now, I have a lot of your requests and your dedications. Now, fear not. I will hold them. Those of you who have been on the phone so long, please accept you know, and understand what we're doing. We'll try it again next week. We'll, we'll do okay. I mean, I, I know a lot of you have been on the phone for a long time. May I thank Dave, Cousin Dave Labrosi. Dave, he made all this possible. Thank you so much. Cousin Matt, Cousin Colton, thank you. Jody, honey, I thank you very, very much. And we will be back very, very shortly. And like I always like to tell people, Jody, I'm coming home. WABC WABC New York and 1071 WLIR Hampton Bays WABC Hoax and fake news. I'm Joe Tiro, Fox News. We are New York, talking about what matters to you on New York's Talk Radio 77 WABC. Now, here's Walter M. Sterling. Walter M. Sterling in just one moment. Hi, everybody. I'm Cousin Brucey, and I'm here for a special reason. First of all, I've walked across the hall, music radio. I'm now at 77 Talk Radio, WABC. Walter Sterling and I sort of grew up together. I know him such a long time. Well, he was a little, little younger than I am, but, you know, uh, I babysat for him, to tell you the truth. And I see that he's here following my Cousin Brucey debut tonight, and I'm thrilled. I've done his show before, Sterling on Saturday, we call it here, and uh, he talks about everything in life. He talks about lifestyles. He is charming. He is intelligent. He knows what he's doing and knows what he's talking about. Gives me great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Doctors is announcer tonight. Cousin Brucey here for Cousin Walter Sterling. Now, this is a great honor for me. Imagine being introduced by Cousin Brucey, the man who invented Top 40 Radio for all intents and purposes. Now, I'm going to reveal two things most people don't know about you. Number one, <laughs> you are the most decent man I have ever met. You are a man of your word. You are better off the air than you are on the air. Now, that never happens. Usually, when you meet a famous radio star like you, there's some trouble off the air. There's some problem. They're hiding bourbon under the turntable. They got a gambling problem. They changed their name to avoid the, the divorce lawyers. There's always some problem. And they always have better ideas than you do. Like whatever you're doing, they say, you know, if you did it this way, it'd be great or else I'm going to quit. Fine. You are a worker among workers. You want it to get done. You want everybody to succeed. I have never heard anybody say, a bad word about you, and I've known you long enough to collect every bad word they could have said, then, for proof, this is unbelievable. Never happens. I had the privilege of having dinner with you and your two, two daughters, your gorgeous daughters, in Las Vegas. We had dinner on top of the Eiffel Tower in Vegas, mm -hmm. not in Paris, in Vegas. And it was steak. It was very expensive. And uh, Did you pick up the bill? I don't remember. No. <laughs> and absolutely not. I I remember. And absolutely not. Your daughters, your grown children who have had enough time to consider it, adore you. Now, that is the ultimate mark of a man. Your daughters, the toughest act in the room, adore you. And that is everything 
that New Yorkers need to know about you. Your daughters adore you. Your wife worships you. And that that's, that's the real report card. Well, I'm a very lucky man. I appreciate those kind words. But, you know, I've loved people all my life. And I was brought up, Walter, as you know, you know me a long time, to respect and to really love people when they deserve it. Right? That's it. I'm so happy to be here. We debuted my new show tonight. And uh, <laughs> I want to get out. Jody's waiting outside. But I would not miss the opportunity of saying hello to you. You and I have known Thank each you. other for years. I think you're terrific. And very honestly, I owe you a lot of my career. I really do. And in my next book, it'll be I'm going to tell everybody what you did. Two stories I want from you the next time you're here. I want you at some point in our relationship at WABC to tell us the Bermuda story. All right. Because it's an incredible story. I got in trouble a little bit. You got in a lot of trouble in Bermuda, and it makes you a hero to me. Uh, We'll we'll talk more about that the next time you're here. Thank you so much for introducing me tonight. I really appreciate it. I'm going to say good night to you. Good night, sir. I've had quite a night. I am like, I don't know where I am. I'm so excited. You don't have to work tomorrow. You can rest. Okay. Come on, now do a show, will you please? My love to Jody. Thank you, Walter. Walter Sterling. Thank you, sir. All right, now hold the recording of that. We'll play it every week of him introducing me. Ironically, the uh, sound engineer we have is named Bruce. So, Bruce... Hold that recording, and we'll play it every single week before the show. Every single, every contract will play that up. Now listen, he calls himself Cousin, and you all know the story of how he got to be Cousin Brucey, adored and worshipped. But before he was called Cousin Brucey, he was called The Hammer. When he was on 1010 Winds, when that was a rock and roll station, he was called The Hammer. Because it was this... It was this the whole time he was on the air. But that's not what I would call him. What I would call him is the Comet. I would call him the Comet. And I'll share with you in a second why I'd call him the Comet. But let's talk about that show you heard tonight. That was a historic show. Bruce Morrow on WABC. Oh, my gosh. Here's my number, 800-848-9222. 800-848-9222. 800 Eight four eight nine two two two. How do you feel? How did that make you feel? Now consider what it feels like usually when you listen to a top forty radio show. You feel nothing. You feel nothing because the hosts are reading liner cards. They're just going through the motions. They're they're or worse. You won't believe this. Or worse, they've pre-recorded their parts. They have liners. It's unbelievable. They pre-recorded their parts. And that's what you're hearing. Therefore, no heart, no soul. But I want you to imagine this. But but let's talk about this. Let's talk about what happened tonight. Because what happened tonight is very important. My number is 800-848-9222. 800-848-9222. This is 77 WABC with Walter M. Sterling. Now, I want you to imagine this. Before Bruce Morrow... Before Bruce Morrow, there was this vast primordial ooze of angst. There was this primordial ooze of angst that kids in Manhasset, Maplewood, Sunnyside, Queens were living in. Pimply faced, sweating, nervous about asking the blonde out. This is where we were before Bruce. Now, I want you to imagine this. You're lying in in sweat. This is shocking. Before, you won't believe this, there was a time when kids did not have air conditioners in their rooms. There was a time in the house, if anybody had an air conditioner, it was mom and dad and the kid with asthma next to your room. But you didn't have an air conditioner. You had an exhaust fan. You remember exhaust fans? Well, now you're lying in bed and you're sweating because it's July and August and September and you're sweating and and you're miserable you can't believe the the horrible life you have and you have a transistor radio and you turn on the transistor radio it's under your pillow and out comes this and you're like what what is this is this, is, what, what is this? 
Well, it's mom's music and show tunes and dad's music, but that it wasn't your music. It was this crap that would come out of the out of the radio. And then sometimes late at night, especially in July and August, you'd hear other stuff coming. And it was very strange. It was like nothing you ever heard. But yeah, so the first 15 minutes of real like, fluid coming what, what is he saying? I don't really understand what he's saying. It's very strange. And CV for you, that champagne velvet distributed by the mass security company right here in the city of Memphis. I don't forget, Vine Edith just flat wake up out there. Let's get ready. We're going to start off the first record here. Let's see now. Wait a minute there. We're going to play the first record. It was a music or, uh, that see, you didn't understand. Period, you didn't understand it. And a disc jockey who was saying stuff that was like, what? What is he saying? It was hard to understand, but these signals would come in from all over the country, especially in July and August. Distant signals from Memphis and Chicago and Lexington, Kentucky and the South, but not from here. And you'd hear this beat coming through your radio, but it was like, whoa, what is that? What is that? It was a very special time. It was the time of the most unique teenage angst and before Bruce Morrow it was a lost generation and once Bruce Morrow showed up it became the boomer generation Bob and Fairlawn New Jersey welcome to WABC hi Bob how you doing Mr. Sterling it brought me back to my childhood I'm 62 years old and listen to cousin Bruce he just made me feel like I was eight years old again and how and yes and how they talk to you they used to talk to you like that it was part of the family. It made you feel good, didn't it? Oh, it was great. It, it, it really, it, it was a great booster. WABC made a great decision by bringing back Cousin Brucey. He's the only legend left of all the old DJs from WABC. Bob Katsimatidis is the owner of WABC, and he was the genius who brought back Cousin Brucey. Thank you very much Absolutely. for your call, Bob. He is, he's a genius. God bless him. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your call, Bob. I appreciate it. Fred in Belmar, New York, welcome to WABC at 800-922. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking my call, uh, Mr. Sterling. Well, I'm in Delmar, New York, just outside of Albany. Well, a couple of things. The incredible reach of the station is what I remember. Uh, my mother used to drive around Westchester County. It was like the mid-60s, and she was blasting WABC. And I remember, you know, you'd go to the beach and all the radio station, all the radios would be on WABC. But tonight, because you were asking about tonight specifically, um, I thought it was amazing because it's, it gets back to actually hearing somebody communicate. Uh, one of the guys there, I guess it was Les Marshak, says, you know, you're a great communicator. I mean, you're hanging on to every word he's saying. You're listening to him reminisce. You're listening to the callers reminisce. The music brings, you feel like you're back in time, basically, to that era of mass appeal radio. And um, I think he's going to be fantastic. I, I say, thank you, uh, John Katsimadidis. And thank you, Bruce Morrow, you know, for coming back on the air. It's what, what a breath of fresh air. You put that on on a Saturday night, this is going to be like destination listening. And the irony is, is that Bruce has been on, on Saturday nights since about 1960, continuously on Saturday night. He's like Mr. Saturday Night. So I appreciate the call, Fred. Thank you very much. Thanks for calling WABC. 800-848-9222. 800. Why am I doing that? What am I, what am I looking at? There. See, there are no signs in the studio. 800-848-9222. 800-848-9222 with Walter M. Sterling. Let's talk about how the Bruce Morrow Show made you feel. How did that make you feel? Because remember the time before Bruce Morrow? I'm not saying you need to be old. I'm telling you about what an important historic figure he is. He's an important man because this is what he did. And it's why I call him the Comet. The reason I call him the Comet. You ever watch Ancient Aliens? Ancient Aliens believes that comets and meteors are filled with life. And they land on Earth on the oceans and the deserts, and they explode. And the life comes out of the comets and the meteorites. Bruce Morrow is like that. Bruce Morrow brought rock and roll to New York City. And when he brought it, he brought it in a way that it could take root. Rock and roll has been around since 1928. 
And there were disc jockeys who played rock and roll in New York, and it really wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal until Bruce Morrow played it. Why was that? Because Bruce had the special formula in his voice and his heart that allowed rock and roll to embed in our DNA. It embedded into our hearts and into our DNA. No one else had done that. Yeah, there were a few other guys playing it. But no one else was able to present it in, a, in such a way that said, you must care about this. This is important. Pay attention. And his presence defined baby boomers. And then to make sure nobody missed the point, the Beatles showed up. And that's when baby boomers began. When Bruce Morrow played the Beatles, boom, that was it. That's why he's an important man. He's an incredibly important man. There are other aspects to how rock and roll perpetuated. And it's, it's a fascinating story. It's an amazing story, but it was disseminated by radio. And the greatest integration machine of our culture is Top 40 Radio. It is Top 40 Radio that integrated this nation in a wonderful, magical way like nothing else.